Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to our second weekly check-in. So we are here to see what transactions we had come out of our cash envelopes, what bills were paid, and go ahead and track them and see what we have left for the remaining two weeks of the month. So we have our uh, Budget Mom Follow Facts wallet here with all of our cash envelopes that we're going to go ahead and slide on out, set them up here. We are also in our Aaron Condren 7x9 monthly planner. We're going to flip to May and see what expenses and bills came out for the second week of the month. So, first off for bills, water's already good, that one. Storage, phone, rent, pest control came out. We're gonna pull this out for a sec. The internet cleared, we made our car payments. And I want to say that's everything though. Okay. Car payment. Internet. Pest control. Okay. So the car payments came in at. 253. No, we're going to write them on one and 207 for both of those. Internet was 60, 6547. And then pest control came out at its 33. Okay. So there are our transactions. So the cars got paid on Friday. By the way, we are checking in from the 7th of Saturday to the 14th of today, so 14th Saturday. We have internet and pest control that both came out on the 10th. All right. One, two. All right, so I think those were the last two we were really waiting on. Next week we'll have insurance. So there's our bills. Next up, our transactions. I want to say we only went to the store once. Yes. So we only have two Walmart, not Walmart, two grocery transactions, which is awesome. Means I was able to stay out of the store. <laughs> but we went by Walmart and picked up. Quite a few things if you saw the grocery haul you'll saw everything that we picked up from there um there's a few clearance things and different things like that but it was like 59 and some change so we rounded up to 60 and then went to sam's club and picked up what we needed there which was like 99s and some change and we rounded up to 100 so definitely not too bad for this week so just the two Walmart and Sam's we went on the 9th. Try to get it all done. Sam's Club started their sale on the 4th, so I wanted to make sure I picked up a few of the things that were on there. But if you really want to know exactly what I picked up, both of these are in a grocery haul video that I posted last week. So if you want to head over and check that out, there it is. Next up we have gas. So gas is purple. We have two transactions. So, oh no, did I not print? I could have swore I printed and more. All right, not sure where they went, but I did print and got the right size for my planner. Um, I went to GT because they were 30 cents cheaper than everywhere else around us at that time. Um, so I went to GT and filled up and stopped it at $45. That way I could stay, try to stay within kind of some kind of budget. James went to Spinks and stopped it at $50. So that way he could fill his tank up there. All right. So I filled up on the 10th. 
got to get my stickers printed, or not printed, found, so I can use them. And then on the 12th. Okay. All right. Now let's see. For spending. So we haven't had any transactions since the 4th. And then miscellaneous, we haven't had anything, and there's nothing unbudgeted so far. So we are looking pretty good right now. We are going to take our no spins and lay them days down on the days that there are no categories from our cash envelopes or bills that got paid. So we have Saturday the 7th, the 8th, Wednesday the 11th, and Saturday the 14th. All right. So we did have the twins' birthday last Saturday. Um, that was in sinking funds, so we didn't have any expenses that day, which is really awesome. And then we did Mother's Day, which we didn't really do anything. We stayed at home and kind of hung out here, which is perfectly fine. I got a few hours of peace without any of the kids running around me. James kept them occupied, so that was awesome. I hope everyone did have a fabulous Mother's Day. Let me know how your Mother's Day went in the comments. But let's go ahead and flip over. I don't think I kept up with my transaction log this week. We're about to see. Oh, I did too. I didn't do the gas. So I'm not too bad off. I'm proud of that. All right, so let's go ahead and mark our days down that we're checking in for. The 7th to 14th. Somebody is blaring some music outside. All right, we're gonna start with groceries. So total spent was 160 for this week. Almost, we'll, we might be able to get through it. So we had 430 minus 160. So we should have remaining $270. There are two weeks left in the month, so hopefully this works, let's see. So that gives us about 135 each week. So as long as we stay around that range. And I've already meal planned for next week and we don't need too, too much, but I say that and then we end up with a lot. So, but we need to make sure we have 270 in our groceries. One, two, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that is awesome. That's that one. Next up for gas, we had the two transactions, 45 plus 50, totaling $95. Last week we still had 230 minus the 95, so we have 135 remaining in our gas budget, and we still have two more weeks. James did just fill up, so hopefully it won't be at least until the end of next week, hopefully, but we'll see how it works out. But I made it nine days before having to fill up, so hopefully we're, we'll working really well towards that spending had no money come out so there should be $65 in mine so spending so 20 30 40 50 60 65 and I said last time I was gonna take that five out and add it to savings and I just haven't messed with it so that is good Miscellaneous, we didn't spend anything, so there should still be 50 in there. So miscellaneous, $50. All right. And lastly, unbudgeted, and we didn't have anything, so there's nothing there, which is great. So I just need to add those two gas transactions here, and that'll be up to date. So I'm not too bad off on keeping this updated. Flipping over, we did purchase um, dance tickets. And that was on the 10th. And that was $30. We pulled it from Family Fun. For dance recital. And then today we stopped and got her some flowers because everybody else was getting flowers. We pulled $6 from Family Fun as well. Saw the little, little produce stand that had flowers. 
and they had some really decent looking produce so I might be hitting the produce stands next week or the week after so kind of excited for that let's see was there any other transactions holiday house I don't think we had any other transactions from our sinking funds this week we're trying to figure out exactly what Alexis wants to do next year as far as dance or gymnastics so might be having a transaction there but so far we didn't have too much going on this week it was definitely a slower week we had dance this week we had Mother's Day which I enjoy spending time with the family just relaxing and not having to do anything um, James and the kids like kept me where I didn't have to do anything so that was awesome for that day but that's it not a not a too bad of a week very slow um, very strict on making sure we're not going any extra places on driving just for saving as much as we can that way up with gas trying to do all of our grocery shopping in the same day and get that knocked out y'all enjoy all the videos that I put out leave any comments that you have down below any questions if you want to make a suggestion on some stickers to add to the shop different things like that anything it's helpful in the comments but let me know and i can't wait to catch y'all in my next video bye bye now